All right. I am ready, I believe. I've adjusted the description and everything, so I think we're good. Yeah, so we're in the society of Leopold now, so clearly we are in the modern setting. You have, for instance, this plasma bag instead of what he previously would have had. And you have pistols and so on, so. A metal sling that hurls deadly stones. Tis simple to use, yet murderous beyond measure. I see that man has not rested in his quest to create ever more powerful weapons. We have a journal that we're going to read here in a second. And so you see all these crates. So they basically excavated from Prague all of these artifacts, artifacts, including Kristoff, who is an artifact apparently. And the Einkern Sword, we have that still, so yay, we can still drain blood. Alright. And because, so effectively you're gathering, if you hadn't noticed, you're effectively, at least to a certain extent, gathering the equipment you had in the in Prague when everything when you basically marched on the castle you're effectively gathering that equipment again because they've recovered that from the rubble of the Sarad castle because it when it after it had collapsed or whatever anyway There is, oh no, it's, it's up higher, like the first level where we're, there's a place, I believe there's a gold watch that it totally where looks. Where am I? What sorcerer's abode is this, Ineska? It totally looks like you can grab it. It's like a gold watch, but you can't actually, you can never actually grab it as far as I know. I don't think I've, I can't remember for sure, but I don't, I'm pretty sure I've never ever successfully grabbed it. Um, 55, 75, 30, 85, does a lot more damage, but does not, yeah. Oh, you'll also notice, so I started taking, under blood rituals, I took Heart of Stone. That prevents me from getting staked, because now, right now at least... We're dealing with humans, and they like to stake you, which basically freezes you so you can't do anything. And then they can basically keep attacking you in the meantime, it sucks. <clears throat> um, I don't remember how much awe works on them. I think it works like normal, but I can't remember for sure. <coughs> and they also like speak holy religion, like religious or holy words or whatever that will damage you. So that's great. Yeah, I think we've gotten everything from in here. All right. Who is that? A vampire! Kill him! Back off, bloodsucker! I'm sending you to hell! <gasps> I can't wait to get a hold of some damn shit. They'll burn like tinder! <sighs> and I think... Because these guys are bad guys, I think you can just suck them dry, I think. Not totally sure, but I think so. Normally, killing people is a problem also, but you can kill these guys. So I, so I say, I, th I think you can suck them dry, and I think it's okay. And if nothing else, the sword will... give you blood, some blood too, so. Alright. So, a bracelet, so. 
Some of the stuff obviously doesn't really matter because you're gonna. It doesn't matter that you didn't keep it from the last from the Middle Ages because you can just reacquire it. But some stuff does, right? So I'm not sure. I know you get uh, gloves that are decent armor. There's also a set of gloves that gives you permanent feral claws. Back off, blood oh. Now burn you to hell. You're a freaking jerk. There we go. Now, give me your blood. There we go. Yeah, holy water. Holy water does like 30 damage and causes aggravation, so it basically increases your frenzy. A little bit. I really like the Middle Ages part of this game, but I, in a lot of ways, uh, I like at least certain parts of the modern age more so it's kind of like uh when i'm playing through like vienna and stuff there are certain points where i'm like okay i really just kind of want to move on to the next age and yeah his humanity didn't suffer normally i would have taken a five humanity hit for for sucking somebody dry five or ten I think five. All right. The music in this level, if you hadn't noticed, does get very repetitive very quickly. <laughs> but, you know, stuff. Hey, walk the abyss. Walking to a... Uh, what do you call it? can't remember what you call it. Anyway, walking to your... Um, your base. For no reason, because you don't have one yet. I can't remember what you call it. Your... Haven. Your haven. Oh, yeah, that's great. Hi. Stop. Just come here. Just give me your blood. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Oh my gosh, he's not gonna even he's not even gonna not even gonna do it. Grab him. Grab him. Why? Why no grabby? Grab. Grab. Oh, he can't because the guy's got armor. I forgot. The guy's got armor on, so you can't actually grab his. You can't actually suck his blood. Right. I forget that that's how they do it. They don't. It doesn't like go and show him make an attempt. I forgot. It actually does like an X. Like you can't. It goes. Yeah, this isn't allowed. He's got like a neck guard or whatever, so you can't actually suck his blood. I always forget that that's how they do that. that use a lot of blood I probably shouldn't be doing that I don't want to use it but use that we'll stop oh actually I'll put this up here oh yeah let's read this by the way okay so here's the first entry from the journal of father Leo Alacious society of Leopold joy my research has paid off the fools who laughed at me won't be laughing now. Won't the leaders of the Society of Leopold be chastened to learn that I have uncovered the location of Visserad Castle? So that's kind of his whole thing. Is Father Leopold is he's like trying to <coughs> prove his worth, quote unquote. Um, yeah, this does not connect, so actually I want to go over here before we move on. Now, let's grab you. Whoa. Water of life now burns me. 
So, we're going to, as the game progresses, see there are actually some clans that have more or less gone extinct. Who's that? And there are some clans that have developed that did not exist in the Middle Ages. And, of course, clan, some clans have changed their approach to things, attitudes generally, um, their politics is different, all this kind of stuff, so. So a lot of this we're gathering for other companions that we'll be getting rather than getting rid of this since Kristoff in a lot of cases won't use it. He may still, but Journal entry, August 1999. The Prague excavation is finally on schedule. The kindred resting places have finally yielded up their secrets. We've gotten the crates of Earth to London without troubling customs. Dr. Alasius is finally pleased with us, after giving us hell for two years. Um, we didn't miss a computer, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Thirty blood? Oh yeah, thirty blood. I don't want to use that much right there. Use this. Um, I think, right? Let's say. Actually, <clears throat> I could do this. Would be a useful one to to have. How much does it do? It's five blood. I might do that instead of this. A lot of potency makes things less. Yeah, let's just see if there's something, some adjustment here I want to use. Potence is a good one, right? Increased automatic damage. Yeah, I'm not sure. Hmm. I definitely want healing, and obviously these are good for replenishing blood. I think, I think we're okay for the most part. Um, I could try to sneak. I don't, I've never tried to sneak through this area before. Eh, looks we'll like it is. Okay. I don't remember how long this lasts, but I've got it pretty high, so it probably will last at least a little bit of time. I think there are a couple of guys in here. One here and one over here, I think. Just in case we do that. Who's that? To the abyss with you. Get back! I don't know why it doesn't seem to, this doesn't seem to draw as much blood in the earlier ages, but it draws a lot of blood in the modern age. I wonder if it's just based on level. I've never actually looked into that to see. It might be because it's based on level. Interesting. All right, anyway. There's some blood bags in here to grab. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else that I'm not remembering on the tables and stuff. There's another over here, but yeah. I don't think there's anything else in here, yeah. Alright. And these computers... So, just like the one out there, they'll interact, obviously, if you can... 
Yeah, this lasts for freaking ever, so this is great. We'll just keep casting that. That's not a big deal at all. This <laughs> stone heart thing is pretty strong. Oh, and a diamond ring, right. All right, these, we'll just do this for now. I don't have gloves, so might as well put them in a place where they don't take up as much space. Did you hit him? Wow. Die. I believe I hit him. He is not hitting me, well, is he? There we go. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Oh, okay. Maybe three. Yeah. yeah. Here you can even see now that he's like lying dead. You can see around his neck, he has a neck guard, so he can't be. Yep. It's just a weird way to me to indicate that, just to have it go like like a floor, like like a non an unwalkable floor or something. It's just a weird way to show that, oh, by the way. But, yeah, so. I'm let me heal up really fast. And then I will. Alright. Oh, that was and this is a foot locker. Somewhere in here. I don't remember which foot locker is somewhere or if it's, I think it's just a foot locker. Anyway, somewhere in here we kind of get our stuff back. Not I mean not all of it, but some of it I think. That might be just through several foot lockers. I can't remember now if it's one or a bunch of them together. Let's see. Humanity's still 90. So we've sucked several of them dry now, so. Oh, scroll of prison of ice if you didn't already have it. Oh, you don't have to spend blood on it. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Arrows. Well, I there's anything else in here, though. Oh, come on. Oh, I forgot to cast the stone heart again. Eh. Let's do that now. Yeah, I think, I mean, you know, obviously in Britain they call it the same thing too, but I believe that the flashlight is, it serves the same purpose that a torch did in the Middle Ages. It's just like light. Nothing. Freaking jerks. Okay. Flame. Oh, ow, ow. Flame. Let's go up to the flame guy. Ow. Ah, 
right, gosh dang it. I'm gonna have to bring in the gill. There we go. Now I'll get a stupid staker. Yeah, even with the thing he did stake me. He did just sit there and take damage, basically. It sucks. Oh my gosh, I hate this. Do do do. this again. get back here so I can kill you yeah they do a good job to like here the money so I think there's cash over here right so I'll show you without before taking it without picking it up so here it's, I mean I I don't know if this is the same net like now because this is like a 20 year old game but it's British pounds for cash <laughs> and then when you get in other countries, it's different symbol for cash for there too. So anyway, this is what I got. Hmm. sure actually this way. Whatever. Inventory management, I suppose. Okay. Recast this to make sure that we got it good. out on the door. Tex, are you really thirsty? Well, all those centuries being buried, you didn't have anything to drink or anything. Yeah, but like, you look kind of creepy. You always want to like make out with the side of the guy's neck. Well, I'm not making out with it, but yes. Feel your human life moving away, you jerk. Yeah, guys out there. But okay, so let's not move on yet. Not just search these, but also let's. There's another thing further down. Let's go there first. The room. Oh, you can't enter this one. I forgot about that. No, there's. You can. I think there's a switch or something. Um, maybe. I, I remember like a lot of things in here there are switches I just don't remember yeah I think this opened that room nope it opened down here then I guess You to hell. 
Miss much? There we go. Fortunately, most of what you get in here is small stuff like this. But still, you get to a certain point, you get full. Alright. That's great that you healed and stuff, but yeah. You're done. Um hmm. anything cheapskate none of them dropped anything that's good actually I'm probably gonna <laughs> get way too full look how all the world has aged and I have aged too I feel old and drained and weathered as all these relics yeah His whole life is basically the poor guy. Like his whole life is turned upside down. Inez can now apparently not only doesn't want him, but also mocks him. And he friggin is now in an age that he doesn't even recognize anymore. I mean, and he's a vampire, even though he was a holy warrior fighting against vampires. I mean, his whole world, it just sucks, man. Makes me feel bad for the guy. Like, can you imagine being in that situation? Suddenly you have literally nothing of your old life. Stop trying so hard. Pathing in this game. Uh, okay. Oh. Well, do this. Hang on. Ha! Ah, he threw his holy water and it hit the other guy, the other lab worker instead. Oh, it did still damage me. Okay, well, whatever. Ow. Ow. Holy crap, that did a lot of damage. Heal. And heal. Jeez, that did a lot of damage. I suppose it depends on... No, probably all the times that it looked like it was hitting his friend, it was still damaging me. I didn't think it damaged me or I would have healed sooner. Holy crap. Okay, well, whatever. <sighs> Journal entry, October 1999. We've been driven off the dig. Damn Zemitsi. We've lost half our forces. Back to England to regroup. Still, Dr. Alatius is oddly optimistic. He reckons that the ancient vampire we found will be the key to carrying on a holy crusade. I want to douse the undead wretch with petrol and strike a match to it. But the doctor knows best. You're not going to douse set a match of, or set. Yeah, you're not going to douse Kristoff in petrol and set him a lot, set him a fire, dude. Trust me. Kristoff's going to kick your butt. Okay, anyway. That was great, Zexor. You sound like a little kid or something. Well, I am kind of a little kid when I play this. Big a lot of resisting going on. There we go. 
Oh, he recovered. Well, that sucks. Okay. He can't, unlike vampires, he cannot heal himself. Um, unless he has a healing potion or something. So there's a decent chance he'll leave me alone for a bit. Looks like he's no longer doing the super weird thing. So he is regenerating some of his health. At some point he's going to attack me. I'm just hoping I suck this guy dry before he does. He dropped something, did he not? Oh yeah, here we go. Another diamond ring. Aw, oh, they know the, they know what I like. Yeah, each of those I believe is just one for a cell. I think that's it. Around here is there something? I can't remember. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Um Yeah. I don't need to do this yet. I'm going to do it before I leave this room. Hopefully I remember. Alright, target. I mean, I can get closer, but I'm just... Okay. Scroll of... Drawing out the beast. Right. Okay. Plasma in this, yeah. Got so much plasma, like guns. Reorg this a little bit. I'd say maybe I should start using these for space, and maybe I still should, but I'm only going to get three slots, because everything else is on my quick bar here instead. Well, there is that, that these can go on the quick bar as well, so, well, whatever, anyway. I believe this is the way at, on and out, I think. <clears throat> so let's go back to this room that we didn't explore really fast. It just goes down. I couldn't remember if it went down and continue, which one continued on. 
I didn't want to obviously go on with that. But it seems like we're good. There are red red barrels in this, which, you know, surprisingly enough, and I'm joking. Um, ah, good jokes, Zach Sword Shop. Which surprisingly explode. There's that. Are you? Because it looks like you're the one who's dead. So he just healed. Yeah, they have faith, and I couldn't remember that that because faith, it's not a discipline that you really get, Kristoff, when you're a human. So I couldn't remember if. I couldn't remember if you got it while you were still. Um, when you're in your human form before you're embraced, I can't remember if you actually get the skill to heal. Of course, there are healing potions as well. No reason to think that if they made the healing potions in the Middle Ages, you couldn't have those in the modern. Sometimes as he's drinking somebody's blood, as you see some of the bar, the blood bar go down, sometimes you'll see it slightly go up, which is an indicator that just normally in the course of the game, somebody's blood will replenish, that it's not just like permanently drained. Oh, hi. I should do this. Hi. See, what I need is somewhere to store my crap. Unfortunately, I don't have it. Yes, satchel charge. Yes, because you're in the modern age, you get explosives and crap. It's kind of cool, actually. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, so really, right now, our whole quest is just to escape this whole Society of Leopold installation, or whatever it's called. Um, yeah, I'm basically full blood. Let's just go back. Last room on this level. Okay, I'm gonna save it because I haven't saved for a while. <laughs> it's 
Kids even sneak up on the guy, even though his back's turned to you. It's funny. Yes, this. Hazardous metal drum, explosive. So don't... You could technically, I could have, I guess, gotten a, the, like the pistol or revolver, either one out, and shot that from back here, and then the guy would have been, like, taking a whole bunch of fire damage. I don't remember if it kills him or not, but, um, okay. He's constantly having to heal himself. Do so much damage. The holy spells plus um, weapons combo is well. It's powerful. So. I will take that, thank you. Alright, we got Schmeckit coming. Oh no, he doesn't patrol. Using that will make this go a little bit faster too. Well, potentially. Um, you're fine on blood for now, I think. Surprised this guy didn't see me. I didn't remember that he was right there, and I'm surprised he didn't notice me. Eh. But I guess coming around to the left, he is kind of facing away, so I guess that could be why. guy dies the huh he's like oh you just squeeze the life out of him well duh you're a vampire but still right. okay stop having back off blood sucker I'm sending you to hell Hey, I got a rifle. I have no room for. It. Okay, hang on. Figure this out. This, this. Let's see. Where are you on blood? Okay, let's do this. This. Technically, it's a waste, but um, whatever. Drink that. Okay, so this. I still don't have room for a rifle. Rifle is a uh, free by her. Huh? Two and three. Mm. Well, poopy. I can always buy more blood. Let's just drop this or use it, whatever. Um, let's do that. Well, celerity doesn't last all that long, though, right? I don't think celerity lasts that long. Let's do this, so recast this, drink one of these, and we'll do some other stuff too. Let's force potency. Potency, cast, 
Now your blood is down a ways, so drink, drink, whatever. Okay, so... I'm gonna, I guess I do it this way, huh? This. There we go, now I have room for the rifle. What I was say is, like, you end up with not it's not awesome because you end up with no room for stuff uh, I really kind of wish that they would just all oh, right I'm a necklace the gold necklace. Some of these are worth a lot of cash, though. Well, let's get rid of the revolvers. I'll use the revolvers, I don't think. I don't think in the whole course of the game that I really use. We get, um... I've seen this other stuff, too. I'm not sure. Just leave those, I suppose. Maybe I put it out in the hall though, so it's easier to get later. And I don't have to do a lot of searching. <clears throat> I do think there's... I can't remember sure, but I thought there was a point where you do find something where you can store these temporarily, but... Or no, it's... After you escape, because you basically kill everybody in here, I think you just enter the building again. I think. Yeah, I think that's a thing. Alright, anyway. It and you can't dodge. Um, and that's it. Yeah, this one's just a, a dude. I can't. I some of these I can't remember, but I do remember that there's some like that. I just don't remember which ones. There are a lot like that. Usually, like the guy will be next to an item or something. There are a lot that it's only in one item room, but. Journal 2, yeah, that's one thing I definitely wanted. Because the storyline, man, I wanted to read more storyline. Okay, so let's, I guess, do this computer first. The fall of Visrod Castle from an unknown source troubled me extremely. Sinitsi conspired against not just the other clans, but against the antediluvians in Cain himself, and against God in an ultimate battle they dare to hope to win. In their monstrous hubris, they see themselves as the true masters of all kindred and of all ancient power. In the last days after the Deluge, the ancient Smitsi Vukodlak gathered demonic power by defiling all that was good and pure. He posed a threat to the ancient order of Canaanites and was cast into deep torpor. But his loyal Smitsi followers conserved his power for centuries and sought to resurrect their dread lord. Yep, and this is important 
for the again for the uh, pl overall plot of the game. A lot of it you don't learn until later, but yep. I don't think there's anything else in here though, right? I don't think so. Yeah, doesn't look like it. Um, so let's read the additional journal entry now. This is one or two. From the journal of Father Leo Wallacious, Society of Leopold. Today, plunged into Visserad Castle with three fire teams of expensive mercenaries fully expecting to find a hive of Zenitsi cultists. Imagine our surprise when we found the ruins deserted. Deserted and utterly intact. This despite the fact that several of Vukadlak's faithful followers survived the Night of Fire and seek to resurrect their lord. This is proof that God favors me above all others. Yeah. Religious much? <laughs> the guy's just a little bit, uh... Alright, anyway, um... There's nothing wrong with being religious. I'm religious, personally, actually. But I'm just saying, like, the guy's a little bit of a zealot. That can be a problem. Depending on what you do with your zealotry. Okay, uh... Let's... Yep, just charge this guy, I think. Why? Why? Attack him. Why can I not swing my sword? It's one thing if I'm trying to suck his blood. It's another thing entirely when I'm like, holding my mouse pointer over him and trying to swing a sword. Come on, dude. Oh, shotgun. Yeah. Yeah, it's on when you have a shotgun. Shotgun is a, a lot of damage. Um, I guess it's just that I'm low on blood. It's not really... So I will probably, well, I've got bags here, right? Eh. Not really gonna do much in freeing up space. Don't worry about it. Yeah, so recast this. I'm going to do this. And on you. Here. The guy's behind the door, but apparently doesn't see his friend get grabbed to get drained of blood. <laughs> eh, it's funny. I think. It's funny, I said. Dude. I said it's funny. No room even for the diamond ring. Now that's just sad. Um, recast this. Okay. Now I think I will just grab you. I can. Full health. Didn't realize I was full health. Until it told me like three times. <laughs> um, I can't remember who all's in here. I think it's just a couple of scientists, but I might be wrong. 
Let's just in case. Ow. Ow. Oh, gross. I forgot about that. Sometimes. Heal. Heal again. And now refresh. <sighs> yeah, I f do forget that. There's a reason this, I think, was originally MA. Because you do get stuff like that where you get a critical and the body goes like in pieces. It's like, eh, that's kind of gross, actually. But. Um. You will notice, except for, like, the, say, the insulated helm and the sword. And then, of course, his outfit. Otherwise, pretty much. All that stuff that we had been saving up from the Middle Ages, yeah, it's gone. I thought we recovered some, but maybe I'm only remembering like the helmet and stuff from that room. And then there, like, there's a. Uh... There was like a foot locker, I thought, or something, but whatever. Whatever, it doesn't matter, it's fine. We'll set this ring over so that all the stuff is kind of in a pile here. Maybe this one. Uh, there's a guy, yeah, a couple guys. I was gonna say, I swear there's a guy over here. I thought there was a foot locker in here, but apparently not. Mm, okay, hang on. So two plasma bags plus a scroll of cloth the cloth of shadows. Okay. We are going to Especially because I can clips are really cheap. We're gonna put a bunch of gun clips over here. So 55, 75, 20, 55, 75, 20, these are all exactly the same, yeah, so drop a couple of these as well. Keep some of these like this. The, th I, so the thing is, I don't remember how much these are worth. But I feel like they're not worth as much as some of, like, these diamond bracelets and stuff. I don't remember for sure, but... So, like, in case we lose them, in case for some reason we don't get to keep them. Holy Statuette will leave as well, I think. For now. And then there were a couple of plasma bags over there, so we'll leave plasma a couple here as well. Yeah, I think that's good. Alright, let's go back and get the scroll and the two plasma bags.
like this other stuff is all just scenery, not actually accessible or whatever. Okay, finally moving this way. <laughs> Takes forever. Prison of Ice just makes life so much easier. It's a great skill. I love it. Um, and that continues on. I guess we'll just go here and get stuff as we go along. Who's that? Oh, wow. First attack and he staked me. What a jerk. All right. I'm taking damage, apparently, for a bit. Holy crap. Yeah, those, I mean, like having stone heart as high as I have it, it's pretty good, but those guys, if they get their hands on you, if they stake you and you can just sit there taking damage, I mean, obviously that friggin' sucks, so. Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll make pile number two right here. But... I suppose, strictly speaking, we don't have to do it yet. But I guess we'll wait. Let's save it again. Fire, fire, get away. I'm sending you straight to hell. Die, filthy All right, you know what, here. Do this first. I am weak of lack of precious blood. Yeah, I know. I know you're running out of blood. And we'll do this. Freeze him. At some point, maybe I can. Maybe. Run out of blood again. I'll bang it. I am weak with lack of precious blood. Yeah, I know you are. There we go. Jeez. Got pretty low trying to. <laughs> stupid. Trying to cast awe on the guy. I hope everybody's doing well. Life's been hectic as usual, but going well. <sighs> uh, 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 uh. 
<laughs> Poor guy. The fall of Vissera Castle. Further additions to the original by Father Leo Alatius. Viserard Castle was once the heart of a pitched battle between humans and kindred scum. It marks the first time in recorded history that humans have successfully overthrown the bloodsuckers. They were burned, pulled from their havens, and left to bake in the sun. They call it the night the very demons shook the walls of the city, spewing flame and death. Those brave humans are our spiritual forefathers because they started the Inquisition and burned countless vampires. Of course, there was a lot of collateral damage, but that's unavoidable. Though we call ourselves the Society of Leopold, I prefer the name Inquisition. It strikes fear. What followed were centuries of hiding, which the vampires call the Masquerade. They went underground and tried to build a coalition. Fortunately, they split on policy. Two sects arose, the Camarilla and the Sabbat. The Sabbat sought to regain their domination over the kind and spurned the Masquerade adopted by the Camarilla. I trace this fracture in the vampire world to this event. Therefore, I must uncover the legendary Viserard Castle. Who knows what wonders it holds? Get a lot of obviously backstory filling in between the attack in Prague or the destruction in Prague and now. Full of Viserard Castle. Additions to the original by Brother Maynard of the Arcanum. In the 12th century, Bukudlok's cultists nearly succeeded in raising him from torpor. But the bourgeois Prometheans, led by Ekaterina the Wise, crushed his plan and raised Viserard Castle to rubble. Ekaterina conspired with the miracles of Prague, who had suffered the depredations of Bukudlok's followers. The mortals aided the Prometheans in the short term. But in the long run, the kindred suffered. Ekaterina's act built up mortal opposition to vampires, which would soon culminate in the Inquisition. Yep. I can't wait to get a hold of some damn kids. They'll burn like timber. Ha! Here's the kill your unlawed oozing away. I don't know, seemed pretty solid. To, I seemed pretty solid as far as I could tell. Yeah, if you didn't get Thaumaturgy before, you get it. You can get it now. There are some, uh, I believe though, if I'm remembering right, there are some disciplines you could have gotten before. If you didn't get them, you basically don't get to get them again. So, <coughs> even though you have other characters, like obviously right now, Kristoff is alone and stuff, so it's important to give him a decent set of skills so that you always have they're like there are certain things maybe you're like well it's, it's not such a big deal obviously right maybe it's not a skill you want or whatever but you know just you need to keep in mind that because he's going to be alone again and for a bit of the game you want to make sure that he is a capable of doing whatever it is you want him to do I need to do this. Ow. Yeah, sucker. Freaking jerks. I need to get more blood, although I can just use one of these plasma bikes. 
In fact, I guess that's what I'm going to do here. 42. 42. I'm sorry, there we go. Just you. Oh, uh, I wasted the plasma bags. Well, whatever. I guess we'll just go attack him then. So the guy was trying to stab me with the stake but didn't actually do it. The bunk beds, I got the roommates. I fought the roommates just now. Wonder which one took top. They look very similar for some reason, oddly. You think they're different, but they're they look just the same. Yes, he's full blood now. Okay. That's good. Yeah. So we now have 362s. Not bad. Yeah. Used to be gold, now it's just cash. Anyway. They changed other stuff. I'm honestly a little. I mean, I don't care, but I'm a little bit surprised they didn't change this from a gold symbol to like a paper symbol, but whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I think we'll just tag. Well, there's the stake, though. I don't like getting staked. Maybe. Boy, with the whole glitching out. Summon elemental. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's when we're going to save for the final boss fight, I think. Use that, and then you're able to... I mean, still, you know. you don't. It's not like you use summon elemental, the final boss goes down. I mean, he's friggin' hard, but I'm just saying. Recast. Come on, just prick it. Who's that? my blood that way you guys are jerks with your holy water yeah clearly obviously I mean you're a vampire a fairly powerful vampire when you finally go into torpor at the end of the first half of the game so obviously they don't know all that you've been through but you're a pretty powerful vampire clearly right so obviously you should be able to defeat these guys but they do come as far as humans go they come fairly well prepared right they come with like the guard, the soldiers have their guards, so you can't suck their blood. You also have, um, you know, they have holy water, they have flamethrowers, they have tasers, all the stuff that aggravates, that will not only keep you from acting, but potentially make you, like, just go kind of crazy. I did not drop stuff over there, right? Yeah. 
I'm getting kind of full again. Let's do another thing here. Maybe I'll go over this way so that I'm not, just in case I don't draw attention to people. Uh, from there. Actually, I'm not going to do that right now either. Alright, then entry three. From the journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold, September 1999. Today we begin our excavation of Viserard Castle in earnest. We had better find a lot of valuable artifacts and more. This is costing me a fortune. Some large carved stones are proving very difficult to break through. Yep. Anyway. Yeah, if I remember right, this is a reasonably challenging fight. There are two soldiers, two scientists, another soldier, and I think there might be somebody right over here also. So, yeah, we'll save it before we do this fight. I don't, I can't remember if they all aggro. I know I always think that they all are going to aggro. I just can't remember for sure if they do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Two scientists here at least also. So, it is possible to draw some of them away, but, in fact, I think I'm going to do that, but, for some of them, but. Turns out you don't actually pull them all. This, now this one becomes a problem. So, um, we'll just run in, I guess. Save it again. Alright. Yup. He's gonna attack, like, to break free before I finish this guy, but that's okay. Okay. Just finished sucking him down. You are 
encourager. Get him trapped so he can't go anywhere. Uh, okay, basically full now. Right. This we saw quite a while ago. Like this is down, like down to the right and around. Right is where it all comes. So. Um, yep, did that door, so just this one, I think, and then we're going up to the next level. You're fine. Stop complaining, Kristoff, you little wuss. Uh, Heart of Stone, right. I give it to you now. <laughs> it's like, oh, by the way, you might want this. Um, I've been wanting this for a while now. Thanks, jerks. Um, yep. I don't think there's anything else. We have all this stuff on this level, but otherwise, I don't think there's anything else. Um, this. And save it. Okay, and this potentially. Yeah. So his upper level is all like a nice mansion, but the lower levels are all like warehouses and stuff. It's kind of funny. Uh, he's got right there, I believe, also. can't hit if you <laughs> just friggin die <laughs> with your stupid stakes and crap you guys are jerks there's a pistol clip or something right yeah Okay. I don't know why this part of this is not walkable. Very strange. I think they made a little bit of a mistake there, but whatever. Alright. Um. Oh, that's right. I need a switch, I think is what it is.
But I'm starting to run low on um, blood, so that's fantastic. Okay. Fireplace mantle? I don't remember. I don't think so, actually. There's a switch that I need to open those doors down below, and I can't remember. before I came in here. Crapo. I'm in trouble. Seriously. Yeah. Okay. We'll reload. Um, I guess it would be the autosave. Well, that's great. <laughs> okay. I remember recast that. God dang it. Okay. Actually, better than last time, I think, too. But I didn't get all that much and some a clip, and I think. Otherwise, I don't think anybody dropped, dropped any cash either, but, you know, stuff. Alright. So I will. Save it, I guess. Yeah, you are. There we go. Ah! 
Nah, we're good. It's not as bad if you don't get staked. <laughs> that would be an interesting challenge run to uh, not ever use that you can't get staked. Like certain, like you basically deny certain skills. So you deny Heart of Stone. You deny Prison of Ice. You deny there's like a Call Lightning or whatever. I swear one of these mantles has a button. Let's see. May not be this one. There is one. It has a button. I know, but whatever. Oh, there's a book. That's right. There's a book that you have to pull, but I don't remember what room it's in. I feel like it's probably in a different room. But. Alright, not this room. Clearly. Okay, a scientist where I can replenish my blood that way. Good. Okay. Let's. This. Okay. Prison of Ice. Uh, oh, suck. I forgot my heart of stone again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got burned a little bit. Quit complaining. Toughen up, dude. It's fine. So we ended up with 119 blood, not bad. Not amazing, but it's it's decent. Oops. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Yeah, some of these, I can't remember all these because some of these look like things, but they're just artifacts from the dig that they found. Like, it looks like you can get these watches, for instance, also, or the tomes. And no, not so much. So, I always like to check them because I never remember which ones are, are or are not, that kind of thing. From the Journal of Father Leo Ignatius, Society of Leopold, October 1999. Damn! The Zamitsi drove us off my excavation! Killed half my men! We barely got away with the artifacts we uncovered. I cannot believe the Lord allowed this travesty! Friar Ignatius insists that the large carved stones over the ruins were protective blessings placed after the fall of Vizelard Castle by persons unknown. He maintains that the Zemitsi could freely pillage the ruins once we broke through the wards. I dislike his holier-than-thou attitude and don't miss him very much, though he was useful in finding the site of the ruin. Apparently, Friar Ignatius died in the attack as well. Anyway, yep. Yeah, we're not done with the Zemitsi, unfortunately. The Zemitsi are pretty much jerks, but whatever. Lab worker. Looks like a few lab workers, actually. Oh, 
He glitches out, so he just sits there. <laughs> oh, no, now he's going to attack me. Crap. Yeah, you're a jerk. Stop. Right. Good enough, I suppose. Yeah, there are like in this modern thing. I think, I think especially, yeah. There's a switch. There are some, several of these, I believe. Oh, this baton is nice. It is damage against werewolves. Yeah, werewolves were mentioned when we were in the Dark Ages, but because we had Eric with us at the time. The gangrels had an alliance with them so that the werewolves wouldn't really hurt you and stuff. Yeah, now, not so much. Now werewolves are, and werewolves are friggin' tough. They are really, really strong. Yeah, I'm running out of space again, damn. Um, okay, let's figure this out. Okay, let's, yeah, to the rifle. Oh, dang it. My mouse pointer wasn't over far enough, so I clicked the wrong thing. Alright. Alright, something like that, maybe. I don't know. Still, probably want to clear some things out. I don't need Heart of Stone, so set that down. I don't need Prison of Ice, although it would save me blood. But I can always go to another character. We'll hold on to it for now. this we got another journal entry more plasma leave that's everything okay let's drop these clips Yes, that's it. From the journal of Father Leo Wallacious, the diary of Leo. God has blessed me with my greatest prize. An ancient vampire still sleeping in deep torpor. He's a blaspheming heretic who wears the red cross of a crusader to mark all that is holy. I'll enjoy tormenting such an evil creature. I've shipped him to my estate, where I'll bind him, fatten him on fresh plasma. Then, engorged on his blood, I will hunt down the Zanitsi, who dare to steal artifacts that were rightfully mine. I know little about them, except that they have excavated a tremendous amount of earth from the site and shipped it to London. And from there, I think, to New York, the diabolical home of the Sabah. They must be setting up a large operation to need so much earth from their homeland. Yeah, so. Is 
Shoot. I can't remember for sure, but I I think we can come back here later. Like into the Society of Leopold. The other stuff's too valuable. You kind of don't want to leave it behind just in case you can't. But I think, if I remember right, I think you can come back in here so you can get your items again, I believe. There is... Stone. All right, now we'll. I can't wait to get a hold of some damn kindred. They'll burn like ginger. There we go. And grab. All right, there we go. Uh, I do like this music, I just wish it wouldn't cycle quite as often, but that's fine. It's kind of the... For some reason, though, the music in Prague, I think, cycles at least as often, if not more often, and yet it doesn't bother me in the slightest, so I don't know. I'm not sure. Whatever. Was it? Dropped something. I heard it. There we go. On expand. Oh yeah. So that's not very valuable, but stuff, you know. I should probably put these like on the floor over here instead of on the carpet so you can actually see them. Kind of, in a way, it's kind of too late now because if I there could be plenty of stuff in here that I don't find. I guess it should theoretically it should kind of sparkle like this stuff does every so often. And it's not. There's nothing in here. I'm seeing so. I think I got it all. If not. I guess whatever. Ah, yes, there is Father Leopold. He is the boss for this whole thing. Let's go over here first, though. Oh, god dang it. I got staked. Are you kidding? Suck. Uh, At some point, I'm surprised the fire isn't increasing frenzy. I would expect it to. Yeah, here's the watch. You see how it's up above here? I don't remember. I've I know I've tried a lot. I can't remember if I've ever actually been able to grab that watch or not. I know I've tried. I don't think I have, but we'll try again here and see. This first. Bag of plasma. We'll 
drink one because like it's like always right there but I've tried fidgeting barely sliding and I don't know that I've ever actually been able to grab this There probably is the perfect position, but I don't. So normally, if you get like really close, you can still manage to get it, but because this is not walkable, you run into this problem of just never being close enough. Right in between here. Yeah, I don't know that you can ever grab that, honestly, sadly, but I mean, it's not hugely valuable, it's just a small little gold block, so whatever, but still. And I don't think there's, up here, I don't think there's another lever, although I might be not remembering. I think it's just mainly in Society of Leopold, there's just mainly the one for getting that baton. And I think that's it. Stupid watch. <laughs> Alright, so here's the boss fight. So let me save it. I believe this is a fairly easy boss fight if you do it right. I think one of the things to do. Let's get rid of celerity for now. Oh, replace it. Um, I will call lightning in addition to prison of ice. And as long as he doesn't resist prison of ice, which I don't think he will, because he's pretty high, um, but he might. As long as he doesn't resist prison of ice, I think I can pretty much just nuke the crap out of him and he's dead, but we'll see. It might even be easier than that. I think it actually probably is even easier than that, but anyway. Hello, filthy little kindred. I am Father Leo Alatius, and I have killed bloodsuckers like you for 200 years. I have no wish to fight thee. Then give up your blood without a fight. It will make a tasty addition to my collection. Early generation kindred, vintage 12th century, 1140, a good decade for Vitae. I wish only to leave this place, but I will kill thee if I must. Your time is dead, boy. You can never fit into this world. You have no one, you are nothing. Let us deliver you from this alien land of eternal loneliness and pain. I did not endure for 800 years to die at thy behest. Lack of precious life. There we go. Pretty easy. I use a lot of blood to do it, but so find the source of the shipments. They do this like thing with the quest, like find the source of the shipments. Oh, of Leopold shipments, right, I see. I was thinking it was like, kind of like Piranha Bytes has a tendency to do, where they like show you stuff before you're ready for it. You're like, wait, what? No, okay. Sighted pistol, yeah, it's a little, I think it's the same as normal pistol, except the accuracy's better, which, you know, is what sighted would imply, of course, but I'm just saying. And number six. Stop. Stop. Oh my gosh. Walking through the desk. Stop. All right. 
Okay, it's final journal entry. From the journal of Father Leo Alacious, Society of Leopold. These damned Zemitsi are proving very hard to find, since they hired the criminal Giovanni to make their shipments untraceable. Still, once the blood of my sleeping vampire courses through my veins, I'll find them and crush the sleeping Bukodrak. Then, with the blood of Bukodrak in my veins, I'll be able to destroy all vampires. Of course, I don't mean all. I'll require a well-maintained flock of imprisoned vampires to keep me supplied with blood. And I'll have to crush all the other vampire slayers lest they destroy my flock. Then I'll have life eternal without succumbing to the curse of Cain. This will take time, but I have all the time in the world. My first 300 years of life will soon seem like nothing more than a prelude to my holy domination of the earth. Tomorrow we try to feed the vampire without awakening him. Yeah, how'd that go? Oh, that didn't go well. <laughs> yeah, he's he's kind of messed up, Lacious. Still, you gotta hand it to him. He's ambitious and stuff. Okay, so to leave, where did I go to leave? I don't remember. There's a, there's another switch or something, right? I swear there's another switch. Or maybe just downstairs just open now or something. I don't know, but I thought there was a switch. Oh yeah, yeah, it opened automatically. Here you go, it opened. I was like, I swear there's a switch or something, but no. Okay. I am weak with lack of precious blood. Seven blood crop up. Yes, get staked at least. Do this the hard way or the slower way, but at least I won't get staked. Okay, like I said, I think I can return here to sell stuff, but do this. Okay, spread the leaf, we're good. Now is all my reason thrown down. Surely my sleep hath made me mad, for if I'm yet sane, then the world has become a lunatic asylum. Towers of glass loom over the tallest cathedral spires. Juggernauts of steel hurtle through the streets of London. The cobbled Roman roads which once I walked as a young crusader are now fused into a single ribbon of black stone. And those roads are clogged with night-walking Londoners, heedless of the danger from the vampires among them. Are they so emboldened by the phantom torches which pierce the night and stab my eyes? Surely my world has died, and all I love lies buried with it. 
All right. All right, so that has been my stream of that tonight, today. So thanks for joining me. I will see you guys um, in my other videos or next time I stream. So next weekend should be back on standard schedule. Not that big of a deal. So just so you know, this weekend was just a little bit weird because it's Saturday. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll continue to work on uh, more videos and other projects and have stuff for you soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.